Welcome back to the Ocean Water Podcast, where we are going to explore the scriptures today and seek to find some real-world applications to guide our lives. I'm Dr. Ryan Delamater. Now, in today's episode, we're going to be diving into 1 Samuel chapter 22, where David's leadership really starts to take shape uh, in the wilderness of Agilim. Now, together, we're going to unpack what it means today to lead through times of uncertainty and hardship. So stay tuned as we discover some timeless principles that will help us in the 21st century here. So you can follow along in 1 Samuel chapter 22, where today we'll be talking about leading in times of crisis. Now, if you haven't had a crisis yet recently, get ready to have one. Life's just an unending stream of them. Now, in this chapter, we find David's at the lowest point in his life. He's on the run from King Saul, who's determined to kill him. You ever felt like that? So he retreats to a cave where a group of unlikely followers gather around him, his family, along with about 400 men who were described as being in distress, in debt, and discontented. Not exactly the best group of people. Now, these people are broken, they're marginalized, and yet they become the fabric of David's loyal followers. David recognized the potential of broken people. He didn't reject these men because of their problems. Instead, he saw their potential. Now, this is a key, is being able to recognize value in people that others cannot recognize. These men who came to David, they weren't the elite. They weren't the powerful. They were in desperate situations. Yet David provided them with guidance and hope. And over time, this group became the foundation of David's mighty warriors. Great leaders understand that crisis can forge character and that even those who are downtrodden can rise up and accomplish great things under the right leadership. David led by example and adversity. Now in this chapter, this is the bottom, the lowest point of his life. David's doesn't just rally these men he also shows them what it means to persevere despite his own suffering david remained committed to god's call on his life through difficulty he seeks guidance from a prophet and gad and continues to walk in obedience this is crucial for all of us our actions in moments of hardship speak louder than our words when life is easy this gains trust with people And in his lowest moment, he set a powerful example for his men. And this provided him with his purpose in the midst of chaos. Life is about enduring crisis. It isn't just about survival. It's about giving people a sense of their purpose in life through you persevering through your own. David didn't allow his followers to stay in despair. He gave them direction and a mission. They weren't just hiding out in a cave. They became an organized group ready for whatever lied ahead. The ability to inspire others and create purpose in chaotic times is a hallmark of being an effective leader. David led his men by helping them see beyond their immediate struggles to the greater plan that God had for their life. David listened and he responded with compassion. When David learned that Ahimelech and the priests were killed by Saul, by Saul's command, he takes responsibility and he acknowledges part in what happened. A true leader is willing to own his mistakes and show compassion to those affected by their decisions. David's humility in accepting responsibility and his willingness to care for the sole survivor, Abiathar, demonstrated the heart of a certain servant leader. Leadership isn't about ego. It's about serving others with integrity. So wrapping it all up, in this chapter, we can see that David, his leadership was forged in a crisis. He recognized potential in broken people, providing them purpose and responding with compassion. And in that way, he became a model for us. Whether we're leading our family or our community or somewhere in the workplace, These principles are as relevant today as they were then. So, thank you again for joining me today. I love doing this. 
these teachings that are usually four or five minutes in length. I hope you're encouraged by David's example of leadership in difficult times. Remember, it isn't about having all the answers. It's about walking with integrity, serving others, and trusting that God's plan is greater than your best ideas. Now listen, if this message spoke to you today, would you do me a favor and share with a friend and pass it along. Stay tuned. More episodes are going to continue as we explore how the scripture speaks to us today from years past. Until next time, continue to pray for us to bring the salt water, the clean water, and the living water into the world. I hope you have a beautiful day.